But I think the reason for the theatre's existence is that people want to see symbols clarified. And the play is a symbol of life, you know. King Lear. King well, Lear is a symbol. It's a symbol. It's, you know, it, it's uh, so six months or a bit more, maybe a year, takes place in three hours. So it's a symbol. It isn't, it's not a year long. So no matter what you do, it cannot be naturalistic. It's a symbol. You have to have symbols. And the audience recognizes the symbols. But also, it is a form of literature which can only be supported by speaking out loud. And at the center of theater is story. And the stories story. are told the story over and over. over again. It's the difference of the way you tell the story that makes it interesting. Old stories, there are only about four or five stories, really. But what are the emphasis? What are the uh, what's the uh, what's the pressure point? Where do you end the story? Where does it begin? Where does it, you know, what is the conclusion out of this story? What was the shape it took? You know the great thing about uh, Beckett saying when they asked him once, uh, "What does waiting for Godot mean? Why did you write this play?" He said, "When the Christ was crucified and the the two thieves on either side of them, one was saved." because one was saved, does not necessarily mean that the other was damned. That's the shape of the thought that I wrote about. <laughs> the shape of the thought. Not the thought, not the thing, but the shape of the thought. Because one was saved does not necessarily mean that the other was damned. It opens the door to, well, what happened then, you know? And that's what Vladimir and, and uh, Estragon are about. They're the two thieves on the cross. I want to do that play again. God. You see, it, it, it does make all the difference in the world. It's a very profound piece. But it opens when you say that something opens in the play. Yes, quite. You know? Yes, the door is opened immediately. And you think, I want to investigate that shape. I want to see if I can find out what, it, what the balance is, what makes that, what did he mean by that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's an examinative thing, a thing that makes you want to examine. And we live in an age that doesn't want to examine when it goes That's to the theater because I want to be entertained at one. That's right. You know? uh, instead of wanting to say, I'm intrigued, I'm not quite sure that I understand what that meant, but it's intriguing. And our performances are getting less intriguing because we are not dealing with the abstracts that we should be dealing with in terms of the shape of a scene. The shape of a scene is more important than the scene itself sometimes. Yes. Yes, it's getting very literal. Yes, quite. Literal characters in literal situations. But the shape of the the drama in the scene, what happens in the scene, is much more important than what's said in the scene, in a way, but can only be carried by what's said. That's the mystery. It's the dialogue that creates something else which is not palpable. It's not palpable. It's not physical. It's palpable. It's not physical. It's, it's not what there. Glenn, it's what Glenn Gould calls the spaces between the notes. Mm, exactly. Which it's is pulling that space. Using that space. Um, precisely. Yeah. And it's the spaces around the words. That's right. The structure. The structure. Why the words are there, you know, what's supporting them.